So we made it to the playoffs. Now we got to get it through the playoffs. In our first game, we're going against the Mets. Right now, top of the sixth, one to one against the Mets. To basically, continue to be on into the playoffs. We got the play-in game. The Mets beat the Phillies one to nothing. Well, I don't know the actual score of it, but they won one game to nothing against Philly. So they are in the NLDS. So this one goes to five. So we're going to try to get it best we can win the first game in the series of five. Bottom of the sixth inning now. And that will bring up Chris Bryant. This guy has been unbelievable. There were billboards outside Wrigley while he was Let's get it started, Bryant. Here we go. That'll work. Get it started there, Chris. Bryant around first, heading for second. All right, Rizzo, get him home, bub. That'll work. Get down, ball. Rizzo coming in big. Baez going deep. Oh, work. Good job, Javi. Their final strike of the afternoon. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. All right. So we get the game four to, to one. Javi Baez home run, pretty much the difference in the game. So starting off one and zero against the Mets, looking to go to game two against the Mets in the NLDS. Going into the second game, nothing, nothing in the sixth inning. Hoping to come away with another victory and going up 2 0 against the New York Mets. Expected. He's made some bad pitches in the strike zone, but so far he hasn't gotten hurt by it. He pulls this one high and deep. Go, Marta, go. Run, buddy, run. And the Cubs could be onto something here. It's a leadoff double. Oh, this is their next. The catcher, Wilson Contreras. That should be deep enough to get us in. It might be out. No. Keep running, boys. Contreras with the RBI double in the bottom of the six, giving the Cubs the lead one to nothing. Come on, Rizzo. Go deep here, bud. Oof, don't think that's going to be deep enough. I should score the run, though. Contreras coming in from second. Two to nothing lead by the Cubs in the sixth. He doesn't try to do too much right here. He just Baez coming through again. Let's go, Javi. RBI double and the runs keep coming. Next guy up, Schwarber looking to go deep here. That ought to work. The Schwarb going deep out of the park. Five to nothing Cubs in the bottom of the six. The Cubs just taking advantage of everything. Schwarb's going deep. Five to nothing. That should be enough to end the game. And that will do it. Another win. Number two game down. The five runs. In the sixth inning, the home run by Schwarber, putting him away, five to nothing. Chicago Cubs take game two in the NLDS. Going on to game three, this could be the elimination game for the New York Mets. Chicago Cubs up two to nothing in the series, two to two in the game in the top of the sixth. Trevor Story trying to put his mark on the game in the top of the sixth, and a hit out to right field. Is it going to be deep enough? It will not. But it is off of the wall for a double for Story. The sixth inning seems to be the inning the Cubs strike. Marte trying to strike, and he's going to hit this one. Out of the ballpark, clearing the 370 fence. A home run for Marte, his first of the playoffs and first hit. For Marte in the playoffs, huge hit coming in a big situation. Top of the sixth inning, the Cubs take a 4-2 lead in the third game of the NLDS. And Contreras adding one to it in the top of the sixth. Blast this one out. 
way out of the ballpark. Solo home run for Contreras. Huge home run for the Cubs in the sixth inning. And that will do it. The third and final out of game three. The Cubs going on to the NLCS. Huge win for the Cubs. Enjoy it. Enjoy the win. Enjoy the NLDS championship. So the win there, winning the NLDS. Now it's time to move on to the NLCS and see who we play. NLCS win. Now going on to play the Atlanta Braves. This is going to be a huge time playing them. I can't believe that we've made it to the NLCS. And the winner of this will go on to play either Minnesota or the New York Yankees in the World Series. So down one to nothing in the top of the fifth, we enter game one of the NLCS. Schwarber gets a hold of this one on the bottom of the fifth. This has enough, it does, into the seats. Tie ball game, Schwarber home run, bottom of the fifth inning. The Cubs already tying up the Braves. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Brian gets a hold of this one and it's over the into fence. The basket, Clears the wall into the basket and Bryant with the solo home run. Going to give the Cubs the lead the bottom of the sixth. The sixth so inning proving very good for the Cubs. Taking the lead here 2-1 to one on the solo shot by Bryant. And Contreras going to add one to that with a moonshot off of the board. Contreras with a home run. Here come the homers for the Cubs. In the close, the game out. Kimbrell looking to finish this one out for the Cubs. Kimbrell in to finish this one out. And a check swing. No. Going on to one at least one more pitch here. Kimbrell trying to finish it, and he does with the Freddie Freeman strikeout. And the Cubs are going to take game one, three to one. Coming in and scoring one in the fifth, two in the sixth. And they're going to get the save to Kimbrell, and the Cubs are going to continue on into game two. Game two of the series, top of the six, the Cubs up one to nothing against Atlanta. First offering on its way. And a home run's gonna tie this one up. The Braves with the home run. Freddie Freeman tying this one up in the top of the seventh. Rizzo up, bottom of the seventh, trying to take this game over. And that will do it. A shot to center field. Clears the fence. Rizzo with the home run. Bottom of the seventh is gonna give the Cubs a two to one lead. Rizzo with his first home run. Of the series, huge time in the game. Bottom of the seventh, the Cubs looking to finish this one out. And that'll do it. Strike three, Kimbrell with another save. The Cubs two to one victory against Atlanta, taking a two to zero series advantage in the NLCS, looking to go up three to nothing in the next game. Going in the game three, up five to nothing against Atlanta. Going in the top of the six. Hopefully, we can finish this one out and move to three and zero in the series. Stepping in now, Steven Souza. There's a drive high in the air and deep to left center field. And it's Souza clearing the wall. Further. Can't believe that one snuck over. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And Schwarbs going deep, adding another run in the ninth inning, making sure that Chicago takes that three to nothing lead in the series. Schwarbs going deep. And Darvish is going to finish this one out in the ninth inning. 96 pitches, a beautiful game pitched by Darvish, going all nine innings, not giving up a single run, and finishing the day with the victory so going into what might be the final game the elimination game in the nlcs if we get a victory here we go on to the world series where it looks like minnesota is up two to one against the new york yankees so let's jump into it at the top of the sixth inning already up two to nothing and a no hitter going against atlanta javi baez having himself a wonderful postseason 
Already three home runs in the postseason. Looking to add number four. He's going to get a hold of this one. And center fielder goes back at the wall and cannot get it. So Hoffy adding another home run to his postseason. That's number four for him in the postseason. And another run for the Chicago Cubs going up three to nothing in the top of the seventh. Bottom of the ninth, Krimble coming in to finish out the game. Kimbrell down to the last batter. Acuna up, trying to keep the Braves alive in the NLCS. This game could send the Chicago Cubs to the World Series. Here comes the last pitch from Kimbrell. A ball outside. We'll see another pitch from Kimbrell. 2 2 to Acuna. The last pitch of the game is a strikeout. And your Chicago Cubs going to the World Series in 2020. Congratulations, Cubs. You deserved it. Well, they've taken care of business all season long, and tonight was no exception. They've proven to be the best team in the National League. And that win will send us to the World Series. Let's see who we play, whether it be the Minnesota Twins or the New York Yankees. We will find out who we play next in the World Series. Looks like it's going to be the Twins coming in. Looks like they were second in batting, 19th at pitching, and 14th in fielding. Cannot believe that the actual Twins made it to the World Series. So here we go into Game 1. We are on fire. We are tearing it up right now. Hopefully we can get a first game victory right now going in the top of the fifth. Two to nothing, Cubs. Let's get it started. Last trip. Trevor Story going to add one to the lead in the bottom of the fifth. Home run for Trevor Story. 442, 113.8 X of Elo. Congratulations, Cubs, taking the 3 to nothing lead. Schwarbs looking to add to his home runs. Clears the fence. Another home run for Schwarber. In the bottom of the sixth, the Cubs up 4 to nothing now. In the first game of the World Series, Schwarber adding to his list of home runs for the postseason. This one a 405, 106 exit velocity. And just like that, three up, three strikeouts for Kimbrell and Chicago taking a 1 0 lead into the World Series. Going into game two, up one to nothing in the top of the sixth. Hoping to get that 2-0 lead and going away to the Twins. Up 2-0 to zero would be the perfect situation. Baez up having a crazy good playoffs. Looking to add to it here. This one's going to be a single. And that'll score a run for sure. Moving Rizzo over to third. Schwarb. Been hitting home runs left and right. Let's see if we can hit another one. This one's deep. I don't know if it's going to be enough, though, to get over the wall. And it will. Schwarber, the three-run bomb in the bottom of the sixth inning. That's going to give Chicago a huge lead. Five to nothing in the bottom of the sixth inning. Schwarber going deep again. That's number seven. Of the playoffs, Schwarber just going absolutely crazy with home runs. This one, a 433-foot bomb, 112 exit velo. Schwarber just going off in the playoffs, second of the game. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. Minnesota, good night. And up seven to nothing. Weebler in, gonna finish this one off. So the Chicago Cubs taking a two to nothing series against Minnesota now traveling back to Minnesota up two to nothing we'll see how game three goes going into game three up three to nothing against Minnesota at Minnesota sixth inning Baez starting this one out this one might be over off the wall for sure a double for Baez starting off well in the top of the six the MVP so far Schwarber in to take the at bat and he's going to do what he does best he's going to rip this one to the wall and that's going to be a double for him and an RBI Schwarber having a magnificent playoffs as a whole absolutely killing it in the World Series Cubs take a four to nothing lead 
here's the first pitch. Now there's a swing by Hayward getting in on some of that action, carrying the bat with him. This one's gonna almost go out of the stadium. It is gone. 410 blast, 109 exit velocity for Hayward. Hey, when you come out of the middle round, you the Schwarb teeing off again. Another home run in the postseason for Schwarber. This one not even in the stadium. 382 feet. 106.8 exit velo and Schwarber another home run seen plenty of those this postseason Marte and Story back to back Chicago putting on a home run derby in the Twin Cities down to the last out in the inning, in the game, this is going to go first baseman, and that's going to do it. The Cubs taking a 3 to nothing lead. Come back for game four soon. And going into the final game, hopefully, of the World Series, we are up 3 to nothing against the Minnesota Twins, looking to sweep them in the World Series, up 4 to nothing in the top of the six. Let's jump into the game. Here's Jason Hayward now. And Hayward going ham on a slider inside. Crushed out of the ballpark. Two more runs for the Chicago Cubs. Hayward, second home run of the day. Now put Chicago up 6-1 to one in the eighth inning. Hayward looking for number three on the day. And he gets it. A third home run for Hayward. He's having himself a beautiful game four of the World Series. Kimbrel coming in to finish this bad boy out. Kimbrel basically untouched all postseason long. Strikeout number one in the bottom of the ninth. And strikeout number two. We are down to the last guy. This could be the last out of the 2020 playoffs. Down to their last out, Mitch Garver, Kimbrell, and Kimbrell with the strikeout. Chicago Cubs, the 2020 World Series champions. Not exactly like 2016, but the result is the same. Chicago Cubs, you are World Series champions. Congratulations. Series champions. The only thing that could have made this sweeter would have been doing it in front of the home crowd. But hey, they're not complaining. Believe me, now they can look forward to celebrating during the parade as they bring the World Series trophy home. What a moment for this team, this organization, and that city. And just like that, your World Series champions are the Chicago Cubs. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys liked it. I apologize again for switching it back to the old i guess the the easiest difficulty at the very end there i apologize did not mean to do it i hopefully will not do it in any of the other rebuilds or any of the other march to october's that we do if you guys enjoyed this series make sure you give it a big thumbs up also feel free to hit that red subscribe button i am doing all of the teams march to october i've already done the royals and now i have done the cubs the very next one is going to be the toronto blue jays and i will try to get those started soon all of these will come out hopefully on saturday or sundays through the rest of the major league season and i want to thank everyone for all of the love and support on the channel in streams you guys are the greatest and i will see you next time slacker out